Hi everybody, I'm back again today with another video. And today, you know we're gonna talk about luxury. Cheers. So you guys, how have you guys been? I know I haven't spoken to you guys since 2021. Now we're in 2022. You guys, I thought today I would speak about um, some of my miscellaneous favorite semi-luxury and luxury purchases of 2021. If you would like to know what I chose, stay tuned. So you guys, 2021 has been a whirlwind of a year um, for many reasons. <laughs> we continue to be in this global pandemic and um, yeah, but of course that didn't stop my luxury addiction. And let me share with you some of my favorite luxury finds. Some of these categories are going to be fashion items some are going to be home items and i even have let's see yeah it's it's i think that yeah the categories are um fashion and home items so let's get into it you guys let's start off with fashion items so first off i um wanted to share with you guys my favorite sunglasses of 2021 i purchased these in 2021 and also they're my fave they came in this beautiful felt burgundy dust bag very cute like very plush very luxe you open up the bag um i have a few gucci sunglasses but none of them ever came in this kind of pouch it says hollywood forever collection in the pouch very luxe it's all satin on the inside um and here they are you guys they're so beautiful they are my gucci shades they're in this like super nice um brown tortoise shell um acetate you know backing here they have the very gaudy gucci gg logos which you guys know i am not a fan of the gaudiness but what can i say these glasses are just fabulous they have the iconic gucci little bumblebee or yeah i think that's a bumblebee back there they're so different um you know they have the gold rim lining with the green lenses just simply stunning pair of shades you guys like no one can tell me anything with these shades on like mm. they're so cute and um let me see if i can find further details they came with the little um cloth the cleaning cloth um let's see so these are i don't know if i have the model number oh i kind of do okay you guys see you see that i don't know if you see that but they are the gucci novelty Havana um glasses in the color havana i guess havana is referencing this brown uh tortoiseshell acetate and then the model number is gg0233s these are from an old collection i don't think they're available anymore i bought them off of Saks off fifth when they were already kind of out of um season but they're just so fabulous you guys the ggs are definitely not my style on the side but the rest of the glass glasses are simply stunning and if you guys would like me to do a sunglasses collection review or just like video because i have other i have a lot of sunglasses that's another obsession of mine um let me know down below because i would be happy to film that for you so yeah, this is one of my 2021 loves, these glasses. Next on the list is, um, let's see, we will say this Lululemon belt bag. And if you guys check out one of my previous videos, you will see I did a what's in my bag with this. And I also did a little semi review of this. I purchased this in this black color. I have it in a cognac and I have it in a off-white cream color. My favorite one is the off-white cream, but you guys, in reality, this one is my most functional one. This black fleece, Lululemon, little belt bag is so useful. If you watch my previous video, you know I mentioned that I don't really get like how people wear them like this. Like I'm just not into that trend. 
but you know i kind of gotten like used to it and it's actually like super useful super practical super like easy to access your items i have found that throughout this winter i've only been using this bag and if you would like a more um, in-depth review on this, just check out one of my prior videos where I really speak in depth on, um, on this bag. And I'm still loving it, you guys. I don't know if Lululemon still sells this. I know they randomly bring it back um, when they do like their random restocks, but I do know that they have their regular nylon, just everyday belt bag always available. Um, I just love this one because it just had the touch of Sherpa like I love me some Sherpa guys. So this is number two of my 2021 faves Number three you guys um, is going to be a handbag And you know, this was a hard one for me because I love handbags. That's my primary love besides shoes um, So I was very intentional in what I chose um, I chose this bag because not only is it practical and functional, but I literally used it the most last year. Like this has been my go-to bag and I feel like I will continue to use it um, for years to come. Even if it's it's sort of trendy right now, this bag, but I to me it's a classic, so I don't really care. Um, and I didn't purchase this in 2021. I actually purchased this in 2020, but I will tell you that all of 2021, it's what I have been using. Came in this beautiful Prada dust bag. And here you go, you guys. Number three is the Prada 2005 re-edition bag in the beige cameo, I think is the name of it. Um, you guys, I have beat this bag to death. I have literally worn this bag for all kinds of situations. I've dressed her up. I've dressed her down. I think she would look cute even with my outfit right now. And, you know, I've just really, really have been loving this bag. It's just like so cute because I feel like with this leather strap, right, it dresses her up a little bit. But then it's like not so serious because it's still nylon, right? It's like still a uh casual look but then this leather offsets it i know the 2000 version of this the the strap is actually like fab it's a fabric strap i prefer the 2005 version with the leather strap the safiano leather because i feel like it dresses it up quite a bit um you know it's like it doesn't fit much to be honest it's super tiny but you guys, it's so easy. Like you spill something on this, you can just wipe it off. Even though it's beige, it, it will come off. Um, even the leather lining on it, on the piping, is like super low maintenance because it's Safiano leather. It's very durable. You guys, I have gotten my money's worth of wear on this bag. I have worn this to death and I don't see myself stopping. And this is, this is probably one of my favorite purchases of 2020. And it definitely transcended into 2021. To the point where i almost contemplated purchasing the black version but i don't know the beige is just so cute so you guys this is number three of my 2021 phase oh. let's keep going so next i want to get into um the home category and this category i have a few items in here let's see so my first one that i want to share and this okay so this product i actually purchased the newer version of it i just have it packed away right now because um you know it literally just came in and i didn't feel like fussing and taking it out of the box but i will show you the one i have been using and this is a super old one we bought this like probably like four years ago and it's still going strong and it's still so useful you guys and this is the iRobot Roomba. This is probably one of their earlier versions because we've had this for so long. But you guys, when I tell you I do not know what I would do without this thing, I, I literally don't, like, I wouldn't know what to do. This is so handy. It is a vacuum for your house. It cleans hardwood floors, carpets, whatever you would like it to clean. Um, it's accessible through an app, so you can literally um, time it. Like, you, if you're out at work and you just want it to clean at like 1 p.m., you just have it timed and it'll start cleaning. And it's really just made my life much simpler. It just helps keep everything so neat and tidy. And honestly, I don't know what I would do without this. This is an ascent. Not only is this just like a nice little luxury thing to have, right? Because who needs a vacuum, you know, like... <laughs> A robot to vacuum your house but to me like this is a must 
have you guys you guys need to check this out the, the new one i got i think is called the s9 and it comes with a like a bin that it kind of self empties the the like you know the dust and remnants that it picked up throughout your house in um so i upgraded to that version but i'm definitely still going to be using this one because it still works great um i don't know like honestly this is probably my most favorite thing in this whole video because i literally don't know what I would do without this. Like, I, it's that serious to me, you guys. So check this out if you haven't already. All right, All right you guys. So next for the home category, um, I want to talk about these flowers, you guys. They are so adorable. These are the Venus at Fleur. I apologize. Don't speak French. Um, roses. They're just these red roses. And this black like hat box just just beautiful attention to detail nice little ribbon here a little um vf logo on the bottom just really nice these are supposed to last a year um my husband purchased these for me towards the tail end of 2021 so i haven't had them for too long I, honestly i've only had them for a month but they still smell amazing and i'm hoping that these will last me for more than a year because some people say that they do um, and I kind of just wanted this little and I'm glad that I got this little tiny one just to kind of try out and know if these actually last But they're just so beautiful. You know, i'm somebody who loves to have flowers in my home I would love to always have fresh flowers it's roses and things like that in my house But the thing is like it's such it's, I sometimes I feel like it's a waste because it's it only lasts for like I don't know like a week if that you know you can't really keep roses or flowers alive um for too long so you know i was very um happy to, ha to have received these because i really want to try them out um this is a very nice way to just always have fresh roses in your house i think this brings good vibes to you uh to yourself to your home to just the aura of your house just manifesting just greatness so this is the the this is the mini one okay it's a little square hat box and then actually back here i have this one that is a actually this is like actually a candle holder i bought but i just put it in here because i think it looks so cute this one's in a circular um hat box same as uh, same concept as this one but this one's just one large rose and i really love this one even though it's just one rose it's just one big rose these are more tiny and cute but you know, you get the vibe, you guys. This is stunning and you know, I just I just like decor. I love home decor. Um, but let me know um, what you guys think about these. I don't know if any of you guys own these. Maybe the bigger, the bigger version, they have stunning arrangements, goodness, especially now for Valentine's Day that's coming up. Beautiful arrangements. Let me know if you guys have these and like how has your luck been with them? Do they last? Do you find that the smell wears down? Like how do you feel with them? Let me know down below. So this is number, let's see, I can't count anymore. Number five of my 2021 Lux favorite things. Oh, you guys. You know we gotta include this mug, right? <laughs> So you guys, this is, and actually look, she's like dead right now. She's dying. The red indicator lights on. This is my Ember mug. I think version two in the rose gold version. I think this is an eight ounce mug. Ember mug is like, so this is like definitely not a necessity, but to me it is. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why now you guys. Okay. Check this out. So this Ember mug, um, pretty much heats up on its own. Um, you control it through an app um, and it pretty much keeps your tea or coffee at the temperature that you set it at. The highest temperature is 145. This way, when you're a slow coffee drinker or tea drinker as I am, you don't have to constantly keep going to the microwave or like reheating it or things like that. So this is like the most Besides my iRobot, this has to be my second favorite thing, honestly. It comes, and then get this, it's so chic and aesthetic, comes with this coaster. You put the coaster on it, so you always just have this on your desk, like say you're working, and that's it. And it charges on the coaster, and it keeps your coffee or tea at the temperature you would like. You guys, 
I dropped to the floor when I found out about this. This is like so necessary for someone like me. My husband owns the travel mug version and that one's pretty cool because you can actually control the temperature on the mug, like on the travel mug. But I don't know, I just like kind of like the old school, like holding it, you know, mug vibe situation. But his is actually probably more useful because you can actually take it out and travel with it. And he actually bought the car um, charging cord so you can, you know, take it on the go and in case if it dies you can just charge it but yeah this coaster attaches to power and um you know you just keep it on there and you just like charge your coaster to keep your coffee warm you guys this has to be one of the best tech inventions out there for sure <laughs> and this is gonna be one two three four five six number six on my faves you guys now let's keep going next you guys um let's see since we're in the home category i'm gonna go to this random candle lighter so my husband actually found out about this on amazon randomly i think he purchased this in 2020 but i've been using it since 2020 on a daily basis you guys this is a electric candle lighter like you charge this how cool is this Oh my god this is like the best solution ever for like us candle lovers right because like hello it literally lights candles and it's rechargeable so you never have to worry about like the little fluid on those like other candle holders it's great it has an indicator light um right here this blue light indicates um how much charge it has and you just plug it in with a regular usb cord and that's it you guys, this is like such an amazing home tech item that like, I'm just like, sh I was so shook when he bought this and I never knew about it. And then I checked on YouTube and I was like, wow, this is really a thing. But yeah, this was from Amazon, you guys. So, and this was, I don't think this was too pricey. This is definitely a must have. Number seven on my faves of 2021. Okay, let's go on to number eight for home. Um... I'm gonna include this in home. This is kind of personal care, a personal care item, but you know, it's something we use at home. And it's a toothbrush, you guys. Um, I don't have the brush head on it right now, but it's a toothbrush by the brand called Burst. I'm not gonna lie to you, I only bought this recently, so I, um, I, I, I can't say that I love it, love it truly yet, but so far I've been liking it. Um, I am somebody who's super old school. I always use a manual toothbrush. I never use a um, electric toothbrush. My husband swears by them. I don't. But, you know, I wanted to try something sort of affordable, but also, like, super cute and, like, aesthetically pleasing. Like, this is the little, like, stand to, to charge it. It's, like, so cute, right, you guys? Um, so, let's see. I, I can give you an update on this, and I can also do a review on this if you guys are interested. But yeah, definitely like love, I'm loving it so far. I might be converted to an electric, electric toothbrush person. <laughs> um, so that was that. And then next, cause now we're up to like, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was eight. So we're up to nine. Um, so this is like kind of a tech, a tech the next three are going to be like more tech loves of mine and this one is the mophie um charging like portable charging brick this is so good you guys it has okay look at this it has a lightning cable attached to it but then you take this part off and it turns into a USB cable. So you just need this attachment to make it back to a lightning cable. It's already attached so you don't have to worry about like walking around with a cord with you, right? So it's ultra portable, super slim, super thin. It will charge your phone up to 80% if you're at zero. Um, it has an indicator light on the side. If you push this button, you will see the, the um, amount of battery you have. And it's just like super, you know, like it's probably not the best portable charger out there because it doesn't, you know, it dies after like charging your phone up to 80% if it's at zero. But like, it's just very easy. Like it's very easy to carry around. It's very portable and it just kind of gets the job done. I know there's better ones out there by Mophie as well, but like, 
this has just been tried and true for me and i didn't purchase this in 2021 i've had this for years now but definitely this is a daily essential of mine so let me know if you guys have any other ones that are super know of any other ones that are super slim like this because i'd love to try them out i'm always looking for a good portable charger another one of my lux faves for 2021 next um we have a te another tech favorite and of course you guys know i have to put in my airpods these are the newer airpods they're not the pros they're just like these newer ones um i love these things like literally i i can go on and on about how useful they are i <laughs> engraved it with a unicorn you guys how cute is that love 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 these and don't know what i'd do without them you guys need these if you don't have them next and where are we up to you guys jeez a lot of fades over here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Jeez, 10 faves. All right, so I have one more fave. And it's also a tech item. Um, and it's attached to my keys because it's a tile. This is super useful, you guys. This is a little um, square. Um, and I think Apple has a solution for this now called the Apple AirTags. Pretty much, you just keep them attached to your keys or to whatever you want in case so that you don't lose it and you just push on this button and it'll ring and it'll alert you like to where my keys are so you know in case i ever lose my keys i have this attached to it it's attached to my phone so like let's say i can't find my phone i could just push on this button and find my phone and vice versa my phone will ring the tile and then i'll find my keys so it's very useful some people put it on in their wallets or any other valuables some people put it on their luggage when they go travel and as i mentioned i think apple recently came out with air tags and that's like super cool because it's all integrated into the apple ios system but this is just a tile and it works just as fine and i've had these for i've had this for years and years you guys i've had this for years and i continue to use it all the time even in 2021 and that was number 11 you guys um so the, the things that i mentioned you know they are pretty much my um tried and true faves of 2021 um and let's see what 2022 brings us um all of the items that I've mentioned, I will, um, I can do a review on any of them if you'd like. Some of them I have done a review on already. Um, and if you want any more specifics, let me know down below. And let's just make 2022 a great year, you guys. And if you would like to continue watching this sort of content, and if you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Um, I try to upload as, as frequently as I can. And what can we do? We love luxury over here. So I will talk to you guys soon and you guys have a wonderful day. Cheers.